Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this video is going to show the fastest cars made by the Indian manufacturer Lampadati in terms of lap time. As always, the position counter is in the top left with the best lap time the vehicle achieved in the top right, and since it's more for interest purposes rather than anything functional, non-raceable cars are included in this list. Also, as the title says, this is cars only, there's no bikes, planes or anything else here. This video only focuses on track performance, so if you're interested in top speed where braking, cornering and acceleration aren't relevant, check the link in the description for the top speed testing series, and if you want to know more information about this testing, including the extent to which it's accurate and how useful it is for you personally, have a read of the full description as everything that you need is in there. This video lists the top 10 cars and is correct as of the Cayo Perico heist update. For any vehicles added after that or other classes of cars, check the playlist linked in the second line of the description and feel free to check out my Patreon or become a YouTube member if you want to support this work and get testing results of any new cars a little bit early. So just like what we saw over the last two weeks with Dinka and then Ubermacht, Lampadati also make 11 cars and the one car that didn't make this top 10 list for Lampadati is the Michelli GT. That's last on the list, it, it's not quick enough to make the top 10 and it's not that nice to drive, at least on vanilla GTA anyway, so you're not missing out on much. We've obviously got the Felon and we saw the Felon GT earlier, classic like the Casco which is really lovely to drive, the Furora GT that we just saw, but when we come to the top 5, it's, a, it's kind of an interesting mix of vehicles from this manufacturer, you know, Lampadati makes some they make some really nice stuff and a wide variety of things as well. We got the Tropos Rally here in fifth place. It is only 49th place in sports, but it's part of a, a group of sort of rally cars with the Omnis, the Karuma, the Sultan, that all get very similar levels of lap time that we mostly use for, you know, rally races, rally cross races. You restrict yourself to those vehicles. And the Tropos is a great one to drive. You know, it's one of the most accessible ones if you want to be racing with rally cars or do rally races. In fourth place, just ahead of it, is the Viserys, which is ninth in Sport Classics with a 106.8. The Viserys has gone through a few changes since it was introduced. It, it was originally broken, but it was so much fun when it was because it had a really high top speed. It still has a high top speed even now, but it's not anywhere near the levels that it was. It was kind of crazy top speed when it was first released, but it still gets a relatively decent lap time for good enough for ten, you know, the top 10 in Sport Classics, but not good enough for the top three because third place for Lampadati is the Novak with a 106.5. It's the second quickest SUV in the game, just behind the Toros, the Toros one. Well, I say just behind, really the Novak and the Rebler GTS which are in second and third for SUVs. They're a decent enough way behind the Toros that you only really ever want to use the Toros if you're in an SUV race that's completely unrestricted. But it's, I would say the Novak is kind of at least a little bit nicer to drive than the Toros. And the same goes for the Rebler GTS that we saw from Ubermacht last week. But when we come on to the top two, in second place, we've got the, uh, the, the Komoda, which kind of again similar to the Ubermacht video that we saw last week we've got this sort of sports sedan car in second place which it, this is one of those vehicles that could quite easily go in the sedans class along with the Shaft V12 and the Revolta from last week with a 104.2. Komoda is an interesting one to drive but with it being placed in the sport class you just don't really see it all that often unless you're restricting your racing to certain tiers of uh, sports cars you know 27th place in sports there's 70 sports cars it kind of easily gets forgotten about even though it is quite a nice car to drive in certain situations at least even though it doesn't like the bumps that much but number one is one of the most recent supercars we've had added to the game it's the Tigon the the only supercar that Lampadati makes and they did a really good job with it you know in comparison to Ubermacht last week which the, the only supercar that Ubermacht make was also in first place. It's actually just hitting me now how similar the Lampadati and Ubermacht uh, lists have been. But the Tigon is significantly quicker than Ubermacht's best offering in the supercars class. And at one minute lap time, it was so close to breaking that 59 second lap. It, it's, it's just, you know, it is a very, very competent supercar. 
okay it's not on the very top pace of the Krieger, the Emirates, things like that you know you're not going to be able to compete with those but for when we're just restricting our list to be looking at the best vehicles made by Lampadati the Tigon is light years ahead of everything else and obviously we'll see from the comparison between the Tigon in first and the Komoda in second it's a massive difference and it just you know flies away at every corner the in terms of top speed for Lampadati the fastest car would actually be the Novak which has a quarter of a mile per hour top speed advantage over the Tigon which would be in second place with the Viserys being in third place and the Komoda in fourth so the top four would be the same but in a very different order when we're looking at top speed and all four of them would only be separated by three miles per hour on their top speeds so it's quite interesting that they are all so close when it comes to those top speed values but they're so far apart when it comes to lap time and that's obviously because of you know braking traction acceleration all that kind of stuff that goes into lap time and it's just significantly better work done on the tigon so yeah that's pretty much it for this one consider supporting on patreon or become a youtube member if you want testing results early and remember to read the description for more info comment with your thoughts like the video if you enjoyed it found it helpful and subscribe for more thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll see you next time